السلام علیکم ناظرین ویلکم ٹو سلیبٹی سیکرٹس آج کی اس ویڈیو میں ہم آپ کو دکھائیں گے بیوٹیفل نتاشا خالد کے ہوم فیشل کے بارے میں جو وہ آپ کو بتائیں گی اس فیشل میں گھر میں استعمال ہونے والی اور موجود چیزوں سے آپ فیشل کر سکتے ہیں یہ نہایت مفید اور کرامت ہے جیسا کہ آپ جانتے ہیں کہ آج کل حالات ایسے نہیں ہیں کہ آپ باہر جا کر فیشل کرا سکیں تو آپ گھر میں موجود چیزوں سے فیشل کریں اور آپ کے لیے یہ نہایت مفید اور کرامت ویڈیو ہوگی اس کے علاوہ اس میں بہت سی ٹپس اور ٹرکس بھی ہیں جو آپ کے لیے نہایت مفید ثابت ہوں گے مگر ویڈیو شروع کرنے سے پہلے ہم آپ سے التماس کرتے ہیں کہ کائنڈلی آپ ہمارے چینل کو سبسکرائب کر لیں تاکہ آپ کو اپنی فیورٹ سلیپٹیز کے بارے میں جاننے کو ملے وہ سب جو آپ اپنی فیورٹ سلیپٹیز کے بارے میں جاننا چاہتے ہیں جی ناظرین جیسا کہ آپ جانتے ہیں کہ نتاشا خالد ہماری مشہور میڈم ترنم نور جہاں کی نواسی ہیں ان کی خالہ اور مدر بھی بہت خوبصورت ہیں اور یہ خود بھی خوبصورت شخصیت کی مالک ہیں ان کی مدر اور یہ خود بھی بیوٹیشن ہیں اور دوسروں کی خوبصورتی نکھارنے کے شعبے سے منسلک ہیں اور یقیناً یہ آپ کو بہت سی ایسی ٹپس اور ٹرکس بتانے جا رہی ہیں جو آپ کے لیے نہایت مفید اور کرامت ہیں سو so, ویڈیو دیکھیں اور ہمیں کمنٹ کر کے اپنی آرا سے ضرور آگاہ کیجیے گا کہ یہ ویڈیو آپ کے لیے کتنی مفید ثابت ہوئی آپ کے قیمتی وقت کا بہت بہت شکریہ کچن ریمیڈیز آلا کچن انگریڈینٹس ڈزنٹ ریکوائر اینی پروڈکٹ فرام آؤٹ سائڈ ایوری تھنگ دیٹ آئی گو یوز ٹو ڈے کین بی فاؤنڈ ان یور کچن اٹس اے گریٹ وے ٹو ڈی کنجیسٹ دا اسکن میک یور اسکن گلوئی مائی اسکن فیلز اے لل کنجیسٹیڈ آئی ایم ایون بریکنگ آؤٹ اے لل بیٹ بیکاز آئی بین ڈوئنگ میک اپ ویڈیوز اینڈ یو نو نیو مام مینس دیٹ آئی ڈونٹ ریلی ہیو دا بیسٹ سلیپنگ روٹین سو آئی تھا بی گڈ ڈے ٹو ڈے ٹو ڈو جسٹ دیٹ آلسو گائز پلیز ڈونٹ پارٹیک ان اینی نان اسینشیل سروسز تھنگس دیٹ don't need to be i mean you don't have to go out and get a facial done right now it's not the safest uh, don't go to salons yet um, i would suggest doing everything that you can at home and this is my way of bringing the information out to you guys so you don't need products for this from outside like i said just kitchen ingredients and you can have a fantastic great result hopefully and uh, looking forward to you guys trying this as well so let's get started we will start with cleanse skin yes, so the first thing i'm going to take is some oil I've cleansed my skin obviously at night and slept so I have no makeup on. Make sure you have no makeup on. So if in case you do have makeup before you start this, then obviously use a cleanser, um, you know, a micellar water, cleanser, whatever. Get rid of your the makeup on your skin. And then I go straight into applying some oil on my face. So here people ask what oil. Use a coconut oil, olive oil, almond oil, tea tree oil. I mix tea tree oil with the oils that I use. I'm going to use some coconut oil right now and I've mixed tea tree oil with it but if you don't have it it's fine and my skin is very very oily and it's very acne prone so i have to be a little careful with oils people with dry skin um, or normal skin can go ahead and use the oil skin generally doesn't like that doesn't react to oils but i feel oily skin immediately i'll feel like i'm breaking out and you know my skin's getting oilier so for that i'm going to just use some i'm going to warm up my oil in the hands and i'm going to start by applying it all over my neck and face so nice circular motions always make sure that the strokes are going up now i'm going to take a face towel that's been dipped in hot water like lukewarm water and i'm going to remove the oil from my face a face towel and i'm going to just in very gentle like circular strokes circular strokes also exfoliate my lip So this also acts like a good exfoliator so to speak because you know the towel the bristles on the towel kind of help in getting rid of any excesses the good thing with the oil is any other um even though i've removed makeup etc whatever anything that was stuck to my face you know any kind of any kind of dirt grit grime makeup anything left uh the oil 
acts to remove it and it kind of binds with it and removes it when we take it off off with the towel so now here's this mixture i've made it's oats banana and almonds okay and i've just grinded it in my blender putting this on onto my face and this is going to become my exfoliator i personally like gentle exfoliating on the face even in general is that it's going to aid in removing any dead skin cells while also being super gentle on the skin so bananas not only are they moisturizing but they're also great you no know, skin uh, like problem fighting ingredients so for acne uh, for lightening dark spots you know for anti-aging it's fantastic and the almonds and oatmeal in it other than obviously having skin benefits as well also act like great exfoliating substances and now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to steam my face. So just take a pot of hot water, take a towel, you put it on top of your head, steam your face. What I love about steam is that it tends to make you sweat out anything that's in your pores. So all of that has happened. I've just videoed myself right coming out of steam. So what I'm going to do now is take a towel, dip it in the same water and I'm going to wipe my face again because I want to make sure anything that's come out, it's not, doesn't stay on my skin. It comes off, right? Now I've put the towel into the water that I steam with and I'm gonna go over my face. I recommend nothing more than maximum two to three minutes because then the skin can react. Make sure that you put the towel on your head and make sure all the exit points, you kind of bunch it up near your neck. The reason why we are doing this step all over again is to make sure that any toxins that have come out, any dirt, makeup, etc., can be removed. The next mixture that I've made in my kitchen, which is papaya and yogurt together. Yogurt is amazing for uh, moisturizing. It's a great moisturizing agent and papaya. I love to soften the skin. So it's a great skin softener. It's also great for under eye circles, pigmentation, dullness. You know, I love it for those things. So I've mixed them together and now I'm going to put it all over my face. So I've applied the mixture on my face and I'm going to keep it on for about five minutes because I want it to absorb all that goodness. I'm not even using brushes and stuff to apply these, the products because some people are like we don't have a brush, some people are like we don't have this, we don't have that. So this video is for everyone so that everyone can do it. You just need to use your fingers, hands. So we have applied it and when we are going to, now we're going to wait five minutes and when we're going to remove it right before removing it, we are going to scrub it a little bit again. Go ahead and now scrub this all over my face and wash it off i've just taken off the mask and as you can see already and you'll feel it when you do it on your own skin you'll feel like your skin's getting softer and especially after the yogurt and papaya after all these steps and then when i put the yogurt and papaya together my skin just starts to feel really nice and soft uh, really moisturized and soft so i'm going to now apply the next step and this is one of my favorite favorite masks i used to i've always done this is a tomato and egg white mask so i'm going to whip it together apply it on my face and this is great for again getting rid of pigmentation brightening the face and what i love about this it also tightens the pores so we're going to go ahead and do this next so now i'm going to take the tomato and egg mixture i've mixed it inside a little bowl and i'm going to take some cotton all over my face, neck, chest, wherever you need it. Lightening pigmentation, great for those under eye circles so you can take it right near your eye. And that's what I love about kitchen ingredients. They very rarely will ever affect you harmfully because it's all natural. So I'm taking my time putting this on and once it's on, I'm going to make sure it stays on for about six minutes, five to six minutes before I do my next step. So okay, so now when you see this, uh, it's been on my face about five, six minutes and you'll notice that if you keep it on your face, it becomes like almost hard. So it's hard to talk. You can see it starts to just get dry and really like kind of uh, you'll feel your skin getting tighter. And that's what it is meant to do and will do. So now once this happens, you've had it on for five to six minutes, your skin feels nice and tight, we're going to go ahead and remove it. So next, once my face is nice and clean and you can see with each step, the skin is looking brighter, more cleansed. And now I'm going to take some raw honey, get the best organic honey 
uh, raw honey that you can have get your hands on and i'm going to apply it all over my face now it's a great antibacterial it's a great healer it's a great moisturizer step also i will leave on for about five minutes if you have time then 10 minutes because it's going to really help to hydrate that skin now i'm going to take my honey and add a little bit of sugar the white sugar is fine also and we are going to make a little lip scrub while the rest of our face soaks in the benefits so i'm going to take some on my hand also exfoliate my lips this is great again to get the color back in your lips a lot of women ask me about discoloration on the lips uh, and i think again not removing your makeup letting makeup stay uh, smoking especially in right now in the crisis we're in please guys anyone who smokes not only is the worst thing you can do for your skin um it's not a good time to be a smoker right now okay oh anytime is not a good time to be a smoker so we need to take care of our lip lips the way we take care of the rest of our skin so my lips get really dry right now because my routine is not the best my diet is not the best right now so you're gonna compensate and if some of it goes into your mouth it's fine because it's all natural so while i wait for the skin to absorb this and just relax i'm going to take some cucumbers just cut two and put them on my eyes so these are great for dark circles uh, you can also cool them i put them in the fridge for a little bit so they're cold they'll deep off the eyes and they're great for just naturally getting rid of any pigmentation um discoloration you have around that area under eye circle it helps and it's also really nice to have something cool on your eyes while you wait so i've removed that from my face as well skin feels really nice and conditioned my lips feel really nice nice and conditioned and now the next step is going to be taking some lemon juice i've just squeezed lemons in the hair and i'm going to take some cotton and i'm gonna apply it on the face now where i don't apply is around this area i feel it tends to start irritating me because my skin is sensitive and i feel just generally around that area it can burn a little bit so i'm gonna avoid my mouth area just on the lower part is fine but don't go all over your this area i feel it tends to irritate the skin and now i'm gonna apply this two to three minutes before i shower and uh, then i'm gonna show you my last conditioning step so right now I'm just gonna apply it two three minutes um once it's been applied for two three minutes and because you've done a few things with your skin right now if it feels like it's irritating you too much keep it on for about 30 seconds to a minute um i know with my skin i can for two to three minutes it'll tingle a little bit because you've done a lot of stuff to the face right now just gonna apply it don't exfoliate it too much just gonna apply it keep it on for about two to three minutes less if you feel it's irritating or causing a reaction so you want to be careful there and then i'm going to go take a shower take the oil out of my hair wash up completely and then i'm going to show you the last steps so i've just come out of the shower my skin feels nice and hydrated i feel it looks brighter it's also a great ritual to do with yourself for yourself um, and it's all done with kitchen ingredients as i told you guys and this is not just because it's quarantine i'm recommending to do this facial it's something that i do even when life is normal um, it's as good if not better than any facial available in salons um, out there and i feel it is all natural so it can't hurt your skin it has no preservatives and chemicals etc so i hope you guys like this now just to finish it off what i do is for the rest of the day i'll put some cold milk on my face i'm just going to do that right now i'm just going to take some in the on a cotton and apply it on my face and then keep it for the rest of the day while i do my own thing you guys can remove if you feel like it or not you know you can always take away a step if it doesn't suit you and add your own mix uh but this is what we're going to do next 
I'm gonna take some and make sure it's cold. It feels really good on the skin. So I'm going to leave the milk mixture on my face, just cold milk on my face, go about my day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something. Uh, please try it at home and let me know what you thought.